Hello, welcome back to my channel. And today let us see the practical application of the genetics in nursing. We all know the genetical information how much it is important uh, for the human beings and the disease conditions. Because this genetical information carries the so many disease conditions to the next generation. If you can understand it's important then we can guide the uh, upcoming couples and also we can guide the patients who are coming for your uh, guidance and counseling like okay let us see into the direct into the matter the first point here is all nurses have role in delivering of genetic services and management of genetic information any genetical information they are supposed to give to the patients and the patients parties nurses require genetic knowledge to identify support refer care for the persons affected by or risk for genetic disorders those people who are supposed to go for the pregnancy those who are planning for the child so you have to give the information about the genetical disorders in case of high risk groups especially so for that what you have to do you have to collect the detailed history of the patients both the uh, parents the future parents by that we can give the genetical counseling nurses can offer care that protects patients family from the risk associated with the genetic information including addressing family issues if somebody is suffering from the genetical disorders in the family and we have to help them out like to lead a healthy life and also to the family also we have to give the support because the family members are all suppressed oppressed and also like they are in a bad mood by seeing such a such type of children but still we can give the positive motivation to them and nurses are also needed needed to refer patients to genetic specialist assist in making choice of genetic health so we have to guide them if in case of they are going to have any major genetical disorders for example see down syndrome if they go for knuckle transcalcency scanning at 13th weeks in that they will check the knuckle length the back of the length of the child's so by that they can say that okay the child is suffering from the down syndrome even though the child is in in vitro or otherwise i can say at the three months of in vitro life the radiologist can say or the gynecologist can say the child is suffering from particular risk factors so they can go for the abortion instead of delivering that child and also stressfully carrying out or carrying like uh, bringing out the child so for that what you have to do we have to uh, like uh, refer the such type of the patients to the genetic counseling doctors next point the genetic nursing includes the following client and family assessment to identify the genetical risk factors for this one to know the genetical risk factors we have to draw the pedigree of the family members and also collect a detailed history to know any family history of the genetical disorders are there next planning and implementation of the care during diagnosis and management of genetic disorders so we have to plan for the patients who are suffering from the genetical disorders and also implement that according to their needs information and counseling support services to the persons affected by or at risk for genetic disorders so we have to help them out and give information counseling support services to the persons affected by okay or risk for genetical disorders if somebody is going to get like see for example somebody's parents are having diabetes mellitus so this diabetes mellitus may affect the future of some like people so to them what we have to do we have to give that information that see sir you are have to take the uh, like follow the 
healthy lifestyle because your parents are suffering from the dm diabetes mellitus and if you don't follow healthy food pattern or if you don't fall like live a healthy life you are sub you may fall into the diabetes mellitus like that you have to give the counseling and information to them it is nurse's responsibility and meeting referral needs so if these any severe cases high risk cases you have found you have to refer them to the particular center where they can gain more information and also the treatment long term follow up it is not a short term my dears as since it is we are dealing with the genetics so we have to follow the patient for a long term how the patient is doing whether the patient is adhering to the treatment or not if not again we have to counsel the patient and we have to understand genetic basis of diseases what all the disease conditions can transmit from the parents to the and the children early diagnosis of their genetic disorders this is very very important early diagnosis also a secondary level of prevention and contributes towards the health promotion with the genetic aspects we have to contribute towards the uh, health promotion of the the patients who are suffering from the disorders and prevention of genetic conditions and management and care in the genetic disorders as i told you previously and genetic information and counseling referral service social ethical issues in genetics so these all the things as a nurse we have to deal with so role of genes in causation of disease condition and its defects we have to understand and give the information to the patients normal abnormal cell division we should know you know that mitosis and meiosis are there and that we have to understand in abnormalities also and mechanisms of disease inheritance from genetics to the next generation how actually the mechanism is there genetical information that transmits from parents to children that we have to understand and give the information to the patients genetic factors are playing role in an individual's health how a genetical information can play a vital role in the individual's health that we should know and give the information basic mechanisms of inheritance and transmission of chromosomes and genes how the chromosomes and genes are transmitted so this we have to understand second important point is early and effective diagnosis of the genetic disorders as i told you it is very important to know the genetic disorders as early as possible so by that we can suggest the mother to go for the termination like or otherwise see if the termination will be possible still 20th week so after 20th week it is dangerous to the mother's uh, like health also that is the reason the safest period for the termination in case of genetical disorders it is below 20 weeks so for this one early identification of the genetic disorders is very much important role it plays so here information about the genetic risk genetic testing the implications what are the genetic test tests are there in vitro uh, that means when the child is still in the womb of the mother amniocentesis nakal transcolesensi growth scan these all the things like uh, they can find disorders and if any uh, suspected disease is there or genetical condition is there immediately they will go for the blood tests also even the fetal blood tests also they will go for it and interpretation of the results of the genetic testing awareness of the possibility of the inherited or genetic component for the client condition and knowledge of the cardinal features of the familial predisposition so pre nothing but we are giving the information and awareness to the family members in beforehand and how genetics and environment interacts with the individual difference do you believe that even the environment can influence the genetical information of a newborn so the healthy prenatal environment will ensure the minimal risk for the genetical defects among the children if the child is exposed in vitroly with a healthy environment a mother can brought 
can deliver a healthy newborn the environmental interaction of an individual is an important factor in refers to the gene or chromosome limitation why i told you this point see the next point is saying that the environmental factors can play an important role in the genetical mutation of the newborn again what do you mean by genetical mutation nothing but the changes in the dna or rna transcript formation transcript formation dna changes and here prevention of the genetic conditions fourth point several genetic disorders can be prevented with the promote and early diagnosis and treatment for example see if we can find out a like disease conditions early we can use the medication and we can prevent some major health disorders for example phenylketonuria it is a autosomal recessive disorder my dear students so what happens uh, in this baby the fin uh, like the ketone bodies are uh, stuck into the blood so what happens in that condition this more phenyl alanine will occluded in the brain tissue can leads to the mental retardation in this case we if we can find out this disease condition at the earliest stage of the newborn then we can give the medication and we can manage with the diet and we can prevent the mental retardation in that children so it is very important for Di early diagnosis and treatment of oh, like so many genetic disorders next one is the uh, management and care in genetic disorders so we also should know which genetic disorders have which signs and symptoms by that we can manage with the patient for example care and management of the person with the adult genetic disorder such as huntington disease what is this huntington disease what happens the brain tissues damage is happens in this huntington disease so the patient cannot maintain like a normal person's healthy life that means memory won't be there and clumsiness laziness and uh, forgetfulness so these all the things are there so if you know the disease condition then you can manage with the patient if you don't know you will be thinking okay this person is like different from others understand and we should also give the genetic information and counseling to the patients and patient uh, patients if understanding level we can give or otherwise to the family members so here development of non judgmental attitude about the genetic disorders we should not judge see uh, as you as you both parents are having the genetic disorders so the child has the genetic disorder can you say that one no definitely not we can't say a judgmental way of treatment we should not give we should give and we should accept the patient as it is and we should give the care next point referral service we should refer the like the critical cases to the higher hospitals tertiary hospitals where the effective treatment counseling and the trainers are available for those suffering from the genetic disorders and see here some are social and ethical issues are there uh, in dealing with the genetic disorders also can i say one example consang like joint joint twins so for example if somebody one person uh, like one baby born with a uh, three heads but body is one what the people will think he is a god god right with the three heads and one body so if we know the like ethical issues legal issues and the genetic information then we can deal softly with those such patients and also such family so these all the main points like uh, here in genetic information you have to learn as a nurse thank you for watching thank you for watching and if you feel it is an informative and give a thumb and also uh, like uh, share to your friends and one more thing here is very little information to discuss and in upcoming videos i'll give you the more explanation to the things that you can understand more easily what is the genetics thank you and fall and give a thumb